Yeah, what's up, guys? It's John. Um, I was just making. I was actually just making like a video. I was smoking or whatever, and uh, I didn't realize that the stop button got pressed like while I was recording it. So like, I don't have the video of me smoking, but I'm pretty stoned right now. Um, I smoked. I smoked some of this. It's some haze. Um, I just picked it up after I got off work. I got off early today, but um, I thought I would uh, share the story with my story with you guys about. Um, Basically, like, my addiction to K2 that I had. Like, is, if you guys have seen my videos from a long time ago, I used to do K2 reviews. So I ch thought I'd share my experience with it. Because um, I think it might help people to understand, like, like what this stuff can actually, like, do to people. Like, because like, I used to think it was all good in the beginning and everything. And, like, I learned the hard way with that shit. That shit, like, is fucked up. So, um, anyway, let me sit down. Just get some comfortable and shit, and tell you my story. All right, <clears throat> quit cigarettes too. I've been smoking the electronic now. Um, I haven't had a cigarette in two weeks. Um, I'm pretty high, but um, so anyway, I first time I used spice, um, it was in 2008. Um, I heard about it while I was in jail. Um, I served a year in county jail, and I got sentenced to, well, I basically got sentenced to a year in county jail, five years probation. I was very lucky. What I did, I should, they wanted, DA wanted me to do seven years. The judge only gave me a year in counties, and plus five years probation, so I lucked out. It was for armed robbery. All right, so, um, like, basically, like, I got off easy, very easy. Um, anyway. So, I knew I was going to be on probation when I got out, and while I was locked up, one of my, well, he's not, no one's a friend in jail, but, like, an acquaintance, that, someone I talked to in there told me about Spice or whatever, because he was on probation and he smoked it, and he, he, that was what the original brand was, was Spice, like, that, that was the first one that came out, I, ne I never actually smoked the brand Spice, um, that's, like, the first one that, that came out in Europe, like, when I first started doing it, it was, like, very not well-known. Like, no, almost no one knew about it. Um, I tried two different blends back then. Uh, the first, there was... This, the first time I ever tried was called Zohai. Um, that, that it came in, like, little tubes like this. and Like, 1.5 gram tubes. Um, and they had three different levels. They had the green, which was the SX. The blue, which was the... I, think, I, don't, I don't remember what X's they were, but, like... Um, and the red was the strongest, the blue was the middle, and the green was the weakest. Um, no flavors or anything, just straight, like, incense flavor, pretty much. Like, that's what I would call it, I guess, straight, like, up incense, nasty-tasting flavor. Um, even, and even the flavored ones, you, they, you don't taste them. Like, it's just this, it just tastes so gross. Like, weed tastes so much better. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I tried it, and, like... In the beginning, I loved it. I was like, this shit is awesome and it doesn't show up on a drug test. Like, I first tried it when I got out of jail. My, the guy in jail told me the website where I could get it. Um, it was ZohaiSX.com or, or something like that. And they used to sell the tubes. Like, it was more expensive back then, too. Um, with a 1.5 gram tube, I used to pay $15 for. It, depending on the strength. Like, it was... It, it, the lowest was the cheap, the, the green one, the blue one was in the middle, yeah, so, um, I started smoking that, in the beginning I was smoking it, like, on the weekends and shit, like, and then, like, it, it just, like, I, I did that for a little while, and then I found out about this product, Bombay Blue, I tried that, I smoked that for a long time, I used to go through, like, by that point when I was doing Bombay Blue, I was already going through, like, I was going through, like, a five gram pack every week at that point, um, like, I used to order a five gram pack of Bombay Blue from the website every week. This was like back in, this was around, this was in 2009. Um, anyway, uh, and then basically after that, like, it started appearing in like, on the stunt, like gas station, gas stations and like stuff. That's when I first started, like, back, like in 2010, like a year, like a year after that, I started noticing it being sold in like gas stations around me and stuff like that. So, uh, and it was it was K two then. That's what that's that's when I first tried K two. I bought it at a gas station near me. Um, 
in the first one I tried, it was a K2. It was one of the flavors. I forgot which flavor. I think I got, like, the blueberry flavor or something like that. Um, I smoked it. Like, that, that shit, it, like, basically the way it worked was as time went on, like, I noticed, like, with each ban or whatever, or, like, or each time, like, a new, they, the products were getting stronger and stronger, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> like, after the JWH ban, like, when the K2 was gone and everything like that, um, then there was, like, the ones that came out, like, like containing, like, that AM2201 stuff, like, that stuff was ridiculously potent, like, I would only, I would, like, with the original K2, I could smoke, like, a full joint to the face of that shit, but, like, the, like, when I tried Flame, um, that shit, I only needed, like, two hits, and I, two to, two to four hits, and I was fucking, like, ripped out of my mind, um, so yeah, like when it got to like the like the flame that that stuff like that's when like I started like realizing I was developing addiction an addiction to it. Like with the flame, I was go I was going through like one of those five gram packs, like in less than a, like the five gram jars that the flame came in. I I would I would order like two of them a week or like three sometimes three, and I would go through them like that because that shit it was lasting less long too. It was only lasting twenty minutes at that point. Um. So I kept smoking, like, I just kept smoking maybe three or four hits every 20 minutes, like, all around the clock, all day. It was just, it was just, like, fucked up. Um, but anyway, to make a long story short, I don't want to, like, make this video too long and talk about everything, but, um, I stopped last year, um, like, right after the, uh, that huge federal ban that came out, like, like, I, because I got off probation after three years, um, Three and a half years. I was released from probation in May of 2012. I, I was, I got out of jail in 2009. So, yeah, I served three years at probation, on probation. I was supposed to serve five. The judge let me off early, so, because I didn't get in any kind of trouble on probation, because all I was doing was incense and bath salts, like, and that's it. Um, I find the incense to be worse than the bath salts, in my opinion. Um, I'm pretty stoned right now, but, yeah, you know, like, towards, oh, and the reason I stopped, um, like, I, like, towards the end, I started feeling sick all the time, like, I didn't, I didn't feel, I felt like I was, like, really unhealthy, like, I felt just, like, sick, like, like, the stuff was, de like, I could totally feel that it was destroying my body, like, it, it was, like, equivalent to being poisoned, like, I felt I couldn't wake up, I felt so awful in the mornings, like, and I needed, and I was, and, like, it does have a physical addiction to it, this shit, like, I started, like, when I was, when I would get, like, uh, when I, when I wouldn't be able to get it, like, sometimes, like, I, if I didn't have it for, like, a week, let's say, like, I wouldn't be, I started not being able to hold down food, and then once I smoked it, what do you know, it, it went away, I was able to eat again, so, like, it definitely has a physical, like, addiction to it, um, and like what else? Um, yeah, it, it was it's, it was damaging my liver. Um, my liver's fine now, but at one point my liver levels were extremely high. I don't, I still don't know to this day if it was from the K2 or the bath salts. It could have been from the bath salts too, because I was doing a lot of those at the time. But these things are definitely not good for you. Like I don't know. I don't I don't smoke spice anymore. I haven't smoked spice in a year. I stopped smoking spice June, like the middle of June last year. So a little bit, about a year and a month I haven't done it. Um, and like I just smoke weed. It took, now for people, I understand when people are saying like if they don't want to quit, if they, they can't quit spice because like weed doesn't get them high anymore. I, the same thing happened to me when I, when I quit spice, um, the weed wasn't getting me high. But it took a good two months of not using any kind of, like, cannabinoids, like, K2 or weed. I had to stop both for two months. And then when I smoked weed, it finally got me high to the point where, it, where I wanted it to get me high, and it just increased thereafter. Like, um, <clears throat> you will eventually be able to get high on weed again. Trust me, you will. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, that's my story about K2. Um, that's what I have to say, but guys, like, if you don't have to do it, you should definitely quit. Alright. Peace out, guys.